G'day legends, Chris Hemsworth here and I'm pumped to be teaming up with Liz today to help you sculpt those abs you've always wanted. We're diving deep into the world of core strength and definition with a killer workout routine. Whether you're just starting your fitness journey or you're a seasoned athlete looking to level up, this video is your ultimate guide to a stronger, more defined core. We're breaking down the best ab exercises with step-by-step -step instructions to make sure you're getting the most out of every rep. Remember, a strong core isn't just about looking good on the beach, although that's definitely a bonus. It's about improving your posture, stability, and overall athletic performance. So get ready to unleash your inner warrior and transform your midsection. Stick around till the very end because I've got a special tip that will supercharge your ab workout and help you see results faster. Let's get started. First up, we're tackling a classic, the crunch. Now don't underestimate this seemingly simple exercise. When done right, crunches are incredibly effective at engaging your upper abs and building that coveted six pack definition. Lie flat on your back with your knees bent and feet planted firmly on the ground. Place your hands lightly behind your head, supporting your neck without pulling on it. Now, engage your core and lift your shoulders off the ground, squeezing your abs as you come up. The key here is to use controlled movements and focus on quality over quantity. Imagine you're trying to bring your rib cage towards your hips, really feeling that contraction in your abs. Remember to breathe throughout the exercise, exhaling as you crunch up and inhaling as you lower back down. Next up, we're moving on to a true test of core strength, the plank. This isometric exercise is all about maintaining a rigid body position, engaging not just your abs, but also your back, glutes, and shoulders. Start by getting into a push-up position, then lower yourself down onto your forearms. Make sure your elbows are directly beneath your shoulders and your body forms a straight line from head to heels. Now here's the challenging part. Hold that position, engage your core, tuck your pelvis slightly and imagine you're bracing yourself against a wall. Keep your glutes squeezed and your back flat, avoiding any sagging or arching. Trust me, your abs will thank you for it. G'day everyone, let's keep this ab workout rolling with bicycle crunches. This exercise is a fantastic way to target multiple muscle groups in your core, including the rectus abdominis, obliques, and even your hip flexors. It's a dynamic movement that not only strengthens your abs, but also improves your overall core stability and coordination. Now don't be fooled by the name. You might be thinking, do I need a bicycle for this? Or is this some kind of cycling exercise? You won't be needing your bikes for this one, mate. The name comes from the pedaling motion you'll be mimicking with your legs, but all you need is a mat and some space to move. It's all about engaging your core and picturing that pedaling motion to target those abs. This exercise is great because it combines the benefits of a traditional crunch with a twisting motion that really works those obliques. First things first, find yourself a comfortable spot on your mat. Make sure you have enough room to extend your legs fully without hitting anything. Lie flat on your back. Make sure those knees are bent and your feet are planted firmly on the ground. This starting position is crucial for maintaining balance and stability throughout the exercise. Remember that good form is key, so keep your back straight and your core engaged throughout the exercise. This will help prevent any strain on your lower back and ensure you're getting the most out of each rep. Now bring your hands behind your head, gently supporting your neck without pulling. It's important to avoid using your hands to lift your head. Instead, let your abs do the work. Remember, we're using those abs to power the movement, not our necks. This will help you avoid unnecessary strain and focus the effort where it counts. With your core engaged, bring your right elbow towards your left knee while simultaneously extending your right leg. This twisting motion is what really targets those obliques and adds an extra challenge to the exercise. It's like you're pedaling a bike in midair. Keep that motion smooth and controlled to maximize the benefits. Keep that core engaged and alternate sides in a smooth, controlled motion. This alternating movement helps to ensure both sides of your core are getting an equal workout. Remember, quality over quantity, legends. It's better to do fewer reps with perfect form than to rush through and compromise your technique. Focus on feeling those abs work with each twist. You should feel a burn in your core, but if you feel any pain in your neck or back, 
Take a break and reassess your form. It's okay to take short breaks if you need to. Listen to your body and don't push yourself too hard, especially if you're new to this exercise. Staying hydrated is also important. Make sure you have some water nearby and take sips as needed. When you're ready to resume, focus on your breathing. Inhale as you prepare for the twist, and exhale as you bring your elbow to your knee. Proper breathing can help you maintain rhythm and control, keep a positive mindset and enjoy the process. Remember, every rep is a step towards a stronger core and better overall fitness. Once you've completed your set, take a moment to stretch and cool down. Stretching your core and lower back can help prevent soreness and improve flexibility. Try some gentle stretches like the cobra pose or child's pose to relax your muscles and bring your heart rate down. Great job, everyone. You've just completed a challenging but rewarding exercise. Keep practicing and you'll see improvements in no time. Don't forget to log your workout and track your progress. Seeing your improvements over time can be a great motivator. Stay consistent with your workouts and keep challenging yourself. Remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. Keep pushing forward and enjoy the ride. Thanks for joining me today. Keep up the great work and I'll see you in the next workout session. Stay fit and stay healthy. All right, legends, let's shift our focus to those lower abs with some classic leg raises. This exercise is a staple in any core workout routine and for good reason. It's simple, yet incredibly effective at targeting those hard to reach lower abdominal muscles. This exercise is a ripper for strengthening that lower abdominal region, which is often a trouble spot for many. The lower abs can be particularly stubborn, but with consistent effort and proper form, you can definitely make progress. But fear not, we'll conquer those lower abs together. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned fitness enthusiast, leg raises can be modified to suit your level. So let's get into it and break down the steps. Start by lying flat on your back with your legs extended straight up towards the ceiling. This position sets the foundation for the movement and ensures that you're starting with proper alignment. Keep your arms by your sides, palms facing down. This helps to stabilize your body and provides a bit of support as you perform the exercise. Now here's the key, engage your core and press your lower back into the mat. Engaging your core means tightening those abdominal muscles as if you're bracing for a punch. This action not only targets the abs but also protects your lower back. This is crucial for protecting your spine and ensuring that you're targeting the right muscles. A common mistake is arching the back, which can lead to strain and reduce the effectiveness of the exercise. With your core engaged, slowly lower your legs towards the ground, keeping them as straight as possible. The slower you go, the more you'll feel the burn in your lower abs. It's all about control and precision. Now listen closely, stop lowering your legs just before they touch the ground. This is where the magic happens. By stopping just short of the ground, you keep constant tension on the lower abs, maximizing the workout. We want to maintain that tension in the lower abs throughout the exercise. This continuous tension is what makes leg raises so effective. It forces the muscles to work harder, leading to better results. Hold for a beat, feeling that burn, then slowly raise your legs back up to the starting position. The upward movement should be just as controlled as the downward movement. This ensures that you're working the muscles both ways. Remember, control is key here, mates. It's not about how many reps you can do, but how well you can perform each one. Quality over quantity is the mantra for leg raises. If you find it too challenging to keep your legs straight, you can bend your knees slightly. This modification can help you maintain proper form while still getting a great workout. For those who are more advanced, you can add a bit of a challenge by holding a weight between your feet or by performing the exercise on an incline bench. These variations can increase the intensity and further engage your core. Consistency is key when it comes to seeing results. Incorporate leg raises into your regular workout routine, aiming for three sets of 10, 15 reps. As you get stronger, you can increase the number of reps or add more challenging variations. And don't forget to pair your workouts with a balanced diet and proper hydration. Your abs are made in the kitchen as much as they are in the gym. Eating clean and staying hydrated will help you see those results faster. So there you have it, legends. Leg raises are a fantastic way to target those lower abs and build a strong core. Stay consistent, focus on your form, and you'll be smashing those fitness goals in no time. Keep pushing, and remember, every rep brings you one step closer to your goals. Let's get to it. Great job, everyone. Keep up the hard work and stay dedicated. Your lower abs will thank you for it. Until next time, stay fit and stay strong.
All right, team, let's spice things up and target those obliques with some Russian twists. This exercise is fantastic for developing a strong and defined core, giving you that sculpted look we all strive for. Start by sitting on the floor with your knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Now lean back slightly, keeping your back straight and your core engaged. Remember, good posture is crucial for engaging the right muscles. Now clasp your hands together in front of your chest or hold a weight or medicine ball for an extra challenge. With your core engaged, twist your torso to the right, bringing your hands towards the floor beside your hip. Hold for a beat, feeling those obliques working, then twist to the left, repeating the movement on the other side. Remember, it's a twisting motion, not a rocking motion. Keep those movements controlled and deliberate. Good day, legends. We're on to our sixth ab exercise, mountain climbers. This one's a killer, but in the best way possible. We're not just targeting those abs here, we're firing up that heart rate too. Think of it as a two-for-one deal, sculpting your core while you torch calories. Now don't be intimidated by the name. You're not scaling Everest here, just engaging those core muscles like you are. We're talking about that strong, stable center that powers you through every workout and every aspect of life. Remember, form is everything. You want to maintain a strong plank position throughout the exercise. Imagine a straight line from your head to your heels. That's your powerhouse position. From there, you're going to alternate bringing one knee towards your chest, then the other, in a controlled, rhythmic motion. It's like a high knee run, but with your hands on the ground. Feel that burn? That's your core working hard. All right, team. Today, we're diving into an exercise that's going to revolutionize your core workout routine. Let's hit those lower abs with some reverse crunches. This move is essential for anyone looking to build a strong, defined core. This exercise is a game changer for that coveted lower ab definition. It's not just about aesthetics, a strong core supports your entire body. We're talking about sculpting those muscles that sit below your belly button, the ones that give you that flat-toned stomach you're after. These muscles are often neglected, but they play a crucial role in overall core strength. Now reverse crunches might seem simple, but don't let that fool you. They pack a punch when done correctly. They require control and precision to really target those lower abs effectively. It's all about the quality of the movement, not the quantity. Remember, it's not about speed here, but about engaging the right muscles. Slow and steady wins the race when it comes to reverse crunches. Lie flat on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the ground. This is the foundation of the exercise. Place your hands, palms down by your sides for stability. This helps you maintain balance and focus on the movement. This is your starting position. Make sure you're comfortable and ready to engage your core. Engage your core and think about bringing your belly button towards your spine. This engagement is crucial for protecting your lower back and maximizing the effectiveness of the exercise. Now here's the key. Instead of lifting your upper body like a traditional crunch, you're going to lift your hips off the ground. This movement targets the lower abs directly. This is where the reverse comes in. It's a subtle but powerful difference that shifts the focus to the lower part of your abs. It's all about that controlled upward movement of your pelvis. Think of it as a small, precise lift rather than a big sweeping motion. As you lift your hips, exhale and squeeze your lower abs. This helps to engage the muscles more effectively and ensures you're getting the most out of each rep. Lower your hips back down slowly and with control. Don't just let gravity do the work. Resist on the way down to keep those muscles engaged. Repeat this movement for the desired number of reps. Aim for quality over quantity. It's better to do fewer reps with perfect form than to rush through and compromise your technique. Be mindful of common mistakes. Don't use momentum to swing your legs up and avoid arching your back. These errors can reduce the effectiveness of the exercise and increase the risk of injury. If you find yourself struggling with form, take a moment to reset. It's better to pause and correct your technique than to push through with poor form. Consistency is key. Incorporate reverse crunches into your regular workout routine, and over time, you'll notice a significant improvement in your core strength and definition. And remember, like any exercise, reverse crunches are just one piece of the puzzle. Combine them with a balanced diet and a comprehensive fitness plan for the best results. Stay hydrated, stay motivated, and keep pushing yourself. Your hard work will pay off. Great job, team. Keep up the fantastic work, and let's continue to crush those fitness goals together.
Until next time, keep crunching and stay strong. All right, legends, get ready to feel the burn with flutter kicks. This exercise is all about building endurance in your core, specifically targeting those lower abs. We're talking about that deep internal strength that keeps you going, rep after rep. Now, flutter kicks might look deceptively simple, but trust me, they'll challenge your core like no other. The key is to maintain that continuous, controlled motion, keeping those abs engaged throughout the entire exercise. Start by lying flat on your back with your legs extended and arms by your sides, palms facing down. This is your starting position. Engage your core by drawing your belly button towards your spine. This is crucial for protecting your lower back and maximizing the effectiveness of the exercise. Now here's where the flutter comes in. Lift your legs slightly off the ground, about six inches, and begin making small, rapid up and down movements with your legs. Imagine you're kicking water, keeping those legs straight and your core engaged. All right, legends, let's take it up a notch with V-ups. This exercise is all about that full body engagement, really putting your core strength to the test. Remember, it's not about speed, but control and precision. Now lie flat on your back with your arms extended overhead. Keep your legs straight and together, almost like you're about to dive into the ocean. Engage that core. Imagine bracing for a friendly punch and lift your arms and legs simultaneously, aiming to touch your toes. Lower back down with control, keeping that core tight throughout the movement. Remember, quality over quantity mates. Focus on maintaining that perfect form and you'll feel the burn in all the right places. G'day team, let's sculpt those obliques with the side plank. This isometric hold might look simple, but trust me, it's a true test of core strength and stability. Start by lying on your side with your elbow directly under your shoulder and your legs extended straight out. Engage your core, lifting your hips off the ground until your body forms a straight line from head to toe. Hold that position, feeling the burn in your obliques. Remember to breathe. It's easy to forget when you're focusing on maintaining that strong hold. Keep your neck in line with your spine and avoid letting your hips sag towards the floor. Well done, legends. You've crushed it today. Remember, building a strong core takes time and dedication. Consistency is key. Make sure to incorporate these exercises into your routine regularly for the best results. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome workout routines and tips. And be sure to share your progress with me. I love seeing your dedication. Remember, fitness is not about being better than someone else. It's about being better than you used to be. Keep pushing, keep striving, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, subscribe for more health and wellness tips.